Let's see you draw a horseshoe. Yeah, a lucky horseshoe. We hope you're going to follow along because art is always better with... Friends. Friends like you. You need your drawing supplies? We're going to use a marker. You also need... Some paper and some color. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw the inside of our horseshoe and we're going to draw a big letter U. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to draw a big letter U. We don't want to draw it too big because this is the inside. We're going to draw another U on the outside. Nice. If you have the horseshoe up like this, pointing up, then it can catch the good luck. Ooh. And if you have it turned upside down, then the good luck can flow out. So you could leave it anyway. Yeah, up or down. Okay, so you could even draw this upside down if you wanted. Now let's draw the outside of our horseshoe. We're going to draw another letter U, but bigger. But watch this. I'm going to draw a little shorter than the inside. So I'm going to come down like this. Oh, we're going to draw it really big. We're going to come around and thick. Look how thick the horseshoe is. Yes. Oh, and yours is thinner. That's cool too. I like it. Yeah. We want the inside of our horseshoe to be taller than the outside. So you could extend these up just a little higher. Yes. Then we're going to draw a line, a horizontal line, or it's kind of diagonal too, coming out. And we want to come past the outside shape of our horseshoe. Then we're going to come down and then we're going to connect in. And we'll do the same thing over here. Down and connect in. Yes. Okay, now we get to make our horseshoe look more three-dimensional. We're going to start by drawing a line coming down from the outside of our horseshoe and then over here too. Nice. Now we're going to repeat this same line down here. We want it to look exactly the same. Almost like we copied it and pasted it right there. And then we can do the same thing on the right side. Okay, now let's draw the thickness for down here. We're going to start right here on the edge, but watch, we're going to come down past. So it comes down further, come across. And then we're going to come back in on this side. That looks like a horseshoe. Yeah, it looks super thick now. Let's come down. There you go, around, and then back in. Yes. Now we can also add a little thickness on the inside. This part's a little tricky, but I bet you could do it. We're going to draw another horizontal or vertical line coming straight down. That matches the outside, this line right here. Yes. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Then we're going to connect this back into the horseshoe. And the same thing on the right side. Whoa, that looks really cool. It looks like it's popping right out of our paper. Yeah. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing our lucky horseshoe. It looks really cool, except we still need to color it. Yeah. This part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video if you want to use our drawings as inspiration for your drawings. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, we did it. We finished coloring our lucky horseshoe. Let's add even more luck to our drawing though. Let's add a four leaf clover. All right. Okay, let's start by drawing. We're gonna draw in the inside of our horseshoe. Let's first draw four guide points and I'm gonna draw them really close to each other. So we got two on top of each other. They're really close. Yep, and then we're gonna draw two more that are on the sides. There we go, it kind of makes a diamond shape. Now we're gonna turn our paper like this, just diagonal, just a little bit, and we're gonna start by connecting to these top two guide points. And I'm gonna draw a heart without the bottom point to the heart. So I'm gonna draw that. One bump, two bump, and then come back and connect to this other guide point. One and another one. It's like you're drawing a heart, right? Yeah. Except without the point at the bottom. So now let's turn our paper to the right. We're gonna draw, we're gonna connect to these two guide points, one that we've already connected to. So I'm gonna start here. We're gonna draw the two bumps, one and then two, and connect to this other guide point. Let's go up, around, <laughs> and then another bump. 
I love your leaf. It's so awesome. Okay, now let's turn it again. So now we're going to turn it this way. We're just going around and drawing the four leaf clover. Look at this. We're going to draw the next leaf. One, two, and connect in. I love yours so much. Now let's turn our paper again and we're going to draw one more leaf so that we have a total of four. We're going to draw another on a heart shape without the point at the bottom and connect into the other side. Go up, curve around. There you go. Boop. You did it. Okay, let's turn our paper right side up again. Look at that. I love your four leaf clover. It looks awesome. And I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. That's all right. Yeah. The most important thing is to have fun. And to practice. Practice. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw the stem for our four leaf clover. We're going to draw a curve that comes out of the bottom. And then we're going to draw another one right next to it, but come out a little further or spread out and then connect them at the bottom. We did it. Okay, now let's color our four leaf clover. Uh, what color are they? Green. Yeah. No, <laughs> purple. Purple. <laughs> let's fast forward again. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our lucky horseshoes. They turned out awesome. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I had fun too. I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings also. And we used a yellow color for the top and then we used an orange color to make it look more three-dimensional. You also added the word lucky. Yeah, but you can leave that off to keep the lesson a little easier. I also especially love the four-leaf clover. What else could our art friends add to their drawing? Draw things that you're thankful for in the background. Oh, that would be really cool. All of the things that you're thankful for, you could add to your drawing. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your lucky horseshoe. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, art friends. <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye.